Çıkın ben heyecanlı. Oh my god! Çok yeter. Julian. That was so loud. I think I'm like dead on the inside and the outside. What did I do? I don't. He screamed at the mic. I don't recall. <laughs> I don't recall. So, at this point, it's your word versus mine. <laughs> I don't know. It is not. <laughs> It's, I don't know. It's literally recorded. <laughs> you liar. I don't know what is recorded and what isn't. Okay. Ding ding ding. ding. Welcome ding, back to the Joe Julian podcast. Ding, ding. Welcome to the <coughs> podcast. Don't <clears throat> cough into the mic. I'll cough when I need to cough. Rule number one is don't be nasty. Rule number two is don't shop for wine at the grocery store. Have Wink deliver it to you. And oh my why. god. That's why this episode is sponsored by Wink, guys. When you have a great glass of wine, it makes the moment better. So make Wink get it. All right, Wink gathers your palate profile based on a quick quiz you take, and then they send you wine that they know you'll like right to your front door. All right, right now, guys, go to T R Y W I N C. That's trywink dot com slash Jenna Julian. Get twenty percent off your first order. Sorry, twenty dollars off your first order. My mistake. Uh, and they will also cover the shipping. All right. It's a great service. You don't have to stand in the wine section in the grocery store not knowing what the hell to do. They just do all the work and send you delicious wine. Twenty dollars off your first order. It's so right great, now. but why did you just segue in the beginning of a podcast? Guys, for those of you who, who lose your keys and your wallets, you'll also like our next sponsor. Okay, <laughs> it's Tracker and their new Tracker Pixel. Can I lose you? Are you? No. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> are you? All, are you always losing? <laughs> You want to lose me. I'm kidding. It was a joke. I love you. Are you guys always losing your stuff? Yes. Well, you don't have to anymore because Tracker Pixel is a tiny coin-sized device that you put on your belongings or dogs, but mostly belongings, and you will never lose it, it again because it tracks your location and your item's location with your phone, and it connects via GPS. Okay, really sm fucking smart device. Can you not do that right now? It's my foot. I know. Your foot needs to be over on you your side. You like my foot? No, I I mean I like. What's the context? <laughs> On the table right now, guys. It's a really awesome device right now. You never have to worry about losing your things again. Go to t r a c k r tracker dot com slash and get twenty percent off any order. I'm just gonna sit back here if you're gonna do that. <laughs> I don't even care. I'll kill him. No. Why does it feel like it's been eight years since we were here? Because it's been a little while. <clears throat> we went to Big Bear for my birthday. I have a sweatshirt that says Big Bear that my yacht got me. And I'm wearing an empty backpack right now. <laughs> my backpack has literally nothing in it. Yeah. My mom, when she came over earlier today, she was like, oh, are you on your way out the door? And I was like, no. She's like, oh, you got your backpack on. I was like, yeah, there's nothing in it. Yeah. Did you expect her not to be wearing a backpack at home with nothing in it? <laughs> my kink is wearing an empty backpack, baby. Your kink? Yeah, kink. <laughs> You were on one today. And by the way, we didn't go to Big Bear this weekend. She bought that off Amazon. I don't know what she's talking about. I went to Big Bear this weekend. No, we yes, didn't. I did. Yeah, we went. To Big Bear. E -B -B. We went to Big Bear. It was it was fantastic. We uh, it was Jenna's birthday. Everyone wish her happy birthday. Hey, three, one, two, you. three. You, did, you fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta fuck up your own birthday. Uh, no. No, she turned thirty one on uh, last Friday, the fifteenth. So happy birthday, babe. Hope Thank you had a wonderful you. weekend. I did. It was the best. It was very relaxing. I did everything that I wanted to do, which was kick it in my sweatpants and do nothing. We brought our, our new PC up with us, a little Brett, portable PC. And, Brett surprised me. And we brought our Brett. And uh, He also we, surprised me with a giant bear, which when I walked in like to the cabin, I thought your mom had put there. No, it like, was Brett. It was a new festive stuffed animal for Big Bear, but it was just a big bear. It was just a big bear. Brett got it for Brett me. Brett got it. I was like, damn, Lisa, that's like... She really, she went full out Big Bear. Yeah. Full, there's a huge Big Bear here. Yeah. It was for me. We brought it home. It's on the beanbag chair. The Frederick. dogs, His name the is dogs Frederick. like to sit on him because they're like baby sloths. Like, you know how little sloths, they give them like a stuffed animal to like cuddle with? That's what the dogs are like with the bear. Our dogs are basically sloths. <laughs> Just a little dumber. Give me one of them. You're hogging them all over there. Which one do you want? There's a blonde know. one and a crying one. Give me a child. All right, all right. You can have the blonde one. Wow, there she is. It's a baby. A oh my God. She's a flop. Oh. God, she's so sweet, man. I just want to hug her mother. 
Um, you, you'll have to excuse uh, the setup might look a little different. We have, we're in a bit of a little, uh, change right now. There's things that are changing in this room. So setting up the podcast is crazy. Like the monitors are on the floor right now. Yeah, it's a mess. And the here. table, it's just, it's crazy. Because so, we switch it to game. <clears throat> yeah. We we, and we're gaming out. like five days a week now. So yeah. we have to figure out. A we're solution. getting a new table. We're getting monitor arms. Everything's going to happen. But right now it's just a little bit fucky. So if you'll excuse it. I'm Julian gonna, almost rage quit. I almost rage quit before the podcast started. Because I'm, I'm literally, I'm on the floor with the mouse on the table above me. And I'm looking at the monitor on the floor. Like, I look like a monkey using a computer. It's really functional. It's great. <coughs> Don't do that. Sorry, was that too loud? It's louder for you than it is for the audience. I'm not going to tell you again. Rule number one is... <laughs> Don't. Ew! Oh my god! I quit! I quit the podcast! So it's just the Julian podcast? You just, yeah! It's so boring. I just, just talk to myself for an hour. Yeah. You just made like a weird burp throw up noise into the mic. Into the mic! Burp throw up noise is my kink. Ew! That's actually, that came out wrong. That's very wrong. I, it was a joke. It's not my kink. I just like making burp noises sometimes. Today I burped the phrase. No, 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 no. No, I was so. Have you guys ever up. heard someone burp the alphabet? It was like that, but like I said a sentence. It's like in that in that logic Lucy Akara song. She's like, "Who can relate?" And so we've just been saying it like randomly. Yeah, it's a good song, by the way. But Julian just started saying it randomly. Can so I do it right now? He burped it. Can in I burp the it again right now? I feel like it's gonna make me want to throw up my food, but okay, go for it. <clears throat> <clears throat> So he did that, and I look over at him, and I go, Julian, stop it. And he goes, you know what I burped? And I'm like, no, I don't want to know. And he goes, I burped, who can relate? And then she started dying. Who can relate? Who can relate? I hate you. <clears throat> I, I know, I hate me too. <laughs> I really do. That was nasty. Uh, I need Jesus. I don't have pocket Jesus anymore. I don't know where he went. <sighs> okay, so on our way home from Big Bear, uh, Jenna was helping me like pass the time driving by looking up our compatibility. On yeah, because I already know it. Astrological websites. Astrological.com. That's not where it was. Like. Astrological.me. You're just giving people false information. Astrological.com slash Julian, 20% off JJ if you get a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> not even a bottle? Not a glass. <laughs> <laughs> deliver one glass of wine to your door. No, you're, I was like looking it up because Julian, Julian just figured out recently that his parents, his mother is an Aries and, my and dad his is a Virgo. father is a Virgo. And I was like, that's why Fran's my dude. Like Virgo recognized Virgang, Virgang for life. But my mom, I discovered, is an early. Well, so, OK, l let me just preface everything that I'm going to say on this podcast as I understand astrology is more of a guide than anything. There's yeah. no, you know, I, I I will say though, you know, when I first like heard what signs were and how they meant different things about your personality, I was like, oh, this is bullshit. This is all bullshit. Like it's stupid. Don't waste my time. And the more Jenna's talked to me about it, the more I'm like, okay, this does, I mean, some, some, some of this of stuff it, really yeah. makes sense. Like as a guide, you know, you, not you are this person because you were born this month, just right. like traits. And, you know, it's more than a coincidence, I think. That's what I believe. It's cool. And... So my mom is like a very, very early Aries, which Jenna says if you're early in the sign in the I month. I think. I could be wrong. That means you're like stronger of with, those per personality has, traits. Yeah, it has to do with like your moon and your that kind of stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Tell so, me so how, how wrong I am. Entertain but, us for this podcast. But she's Maybe, way more of an Aries than my mom is. Are. My mom is, if you can imagine, more of an Aries than I am. Like a, a she's a varies. Varies. She's varies. <laughs> do that again she's varies oh damn you guys see what i did there and your dad's a very i winked i winked at you did you just segue again no no i'm not there yet i just they fake segue mm -hmm. it was like a pump fake oh, okay. it was like it was like when you go it's your friend you're like and then they're like whoa and they're like two for flinching and you uppercut him in the face <laughs> like what you did to me in my video that one time <laughs> you, i forget what video it was one of my main channel videos and you were just like and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> or you got me to look at the circle in your finger or whatever. What, this? Yeah. That, oh, you 
It's like, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like so not funny. It's, but it's funny. Violence is funny when it comes to couples. Um, oh, that's sick. Sorry. Take it back. It was a joke. I take it back. It was a bad joke. Terrible. Um, all right. So we looked up the, the compatibility between Virgos and Aries. And we found something funny. Do you have that page bookmark, by the way? Yeah, but you took the Mophie and my phone's at like okay. 6%. Sorry, these sponsors aren't going to read themselves. You know... <coughs> don't... Okay. Julian. I'm so proud of myself. I have to find... I'm five. I'm six. Um, no, but what we I were talking about... Find it. We were talking about how my mom is an Aries and my dad is a Virgo. And it's very interesting because, you know, thinking back to when I was a kid... Watching them interact. My mom and dad loved each other. And dad and, always had a plan. Yeah, but yes, my dad always had a plan, but they ended up getting divorced. And, um, you know, I just remember they were just on completely different wavelengths in terms of like their speed of life. And it, may, it does make sense. Like the Virgo being my dad who needed to have things planned, couldn't just run and gun. Whereas my mom was the most spontaneous person I've ever met and still is. Which Was that an earthquake or are you moving? <laughs> I feel like I'm like in that state where like there hasn't been an earthquake for a little while, so I feel no. like everything's an earthquake. No, it's uh, it's definitely an earthquake of Julian. It's Julian oh, okay. the earthquake. What's with you? I, I just burped. Right? Okay, I didn't even do it into the mic. <laughs> Be lucky. I okay. didn't do it into the mic. Just listen. But I was reading this to Julian <clears throat> in the car, and he was fucking like peeing himself it was laughing. So funny. Because some of it's some of it is like whatever, but yeah. some of it's funny. These two can be so annoying to each other that they might annoy everyone around them. Like that's not only true in real life, but we also annoy the entire internet <laughs> from putting ourselves on the internet. We're so annoying that we annoy you guys. Yeah, we're annoying to everyone. When you think of a partner who brings out the best in you, Aries and Virgo are the worst possible match. <laughs> By the way, this this is astrologyzodiacsigns.com. There's a dash in between all the words. Like this one, when I read this, I had to explain to Julian, like, usually when you read these, they're sort of like, oh, here's your weaknesses and here's some of your strengths. And everything is very, like, no matter what's going on, like, you you love who you love and everything can be fine. You know, it's always very, like... It's fine. Everything's yeah. going to be fine. It might yeah. not be like the most compatible person in the world, but that's fine sometimes too. Here's this one is so fucking straightforward, like just hammering that we hate each other. Yeah. Okay. The downside of an Aries partner is their impulsive nature, readiness to fight, and the tendency to lose their mind over something that might not be that big of a deal. The possible downside of a Virgo is hysteria and continuous never-ending talks when they are not understood. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that true? <sighs> Completely true. Julian will be like, all right, I get it. Let's let's be done talking. And like, no, you don't get it. And then we'll talk for like 20 more minutes. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that sounds familiar. Um, <clears throat> it is a known fact that Virgo likes things clean. Well, an Aries is an animal in their cage, especially if they're crazy enough to decide to live together. This could lead to endless, pointless fights because Aries will never change their natures or, th or their priorities, while Virgo will seem like a crazy person screaming with gloves and a huge ball of antiseptic liquid in their hand. The good thing is that before they get to this stage of their relationship, they will probably find each other extremely repellent and break up instead. That was that's like the most funny part. Yeah, I love I, honestly. I love the uh, annoying each other so much that you're annoying other people because you cited the example of us like on trips with Rumsar. I'm like I'm moving this. Love. Yeah. Um, and how? An what was oh, that? Oh, sorry. Did it stop a recording? No, no, no. It was a Discord message. Oh, Just okay. popped up. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that noise, y'all. I'm like so like panicked that remember the time the camera cut out or like the audio cuts out and like yeah, I don't I mean, want to knock on again. fucking wood this this setup doesn't fail us for the next couple times that we have to deal with it yeah <clears throat> um no the part where it's like you're, you're so annoying and you're not supposed to be together that you annoy other people like that's funny to me because us together with rome oh my god like she's had it right yeah, away she's, she's like fucking it. stop it both of you stop it but um no, we were talking – after I was, like, reading that, we were having a laugh and stuff. We were talking about how, like, I'm not, like, completely a Virgo. Like, as much – first of all, it's hysterical to, like, yell out your sign and then blame some annoying personality. That's, that's kind that of the have. joke behind that's, the yeah. whole I'm a Virgo. I'm thing. a Virgo. Yeah. Like, who the fuck says that? Yeah. Um, but, like, I'm not a full Virgo. Like, Virgos like things clean. But, like, for me, it's more like – I like things organized, but I don't care if there's a mess. But, like, if you put the spice back wrong in the wrong spot, I'll flip out. Like, if there's some clothes on the floor, 
fine. If there's dishes, fine. But like if you put a pair of pants where my shirts go, I will lose it. Yeah, and you have lost it before. But and I feel it's, like it's a, those very like specific organizational things yeah. that set you off. But it's like the a I feel like a true Virgo trait is like everything needs to be clean, but I'm not quite all the way like there. Like the antiseptic liquid and gloves thing. Yeah, like I don't, I don't need everything to be clean. I yeah. just like when things are organized. Like when things have a place, they have to go to that place, yeah. or else I'm gonna lose it. Yeah. Whereas Julian is an Aries, and I know you guys have seen his vlogs and like cooking, it's fucking, it's a nightmare, and it's like that everywhere. But like the mess doesn't. If the mess bothered me sometimes, we wouldn't get along. It would be terrible. Yeah, we wouldn't get along. You know, but it's also it's really hard to ever be mad at you because it's fucking hysterical. Like if I didn't think it was funny, it would it would it would be bad news for yeah, me. It would be really bad. But you think it's funny. <laughs> I think it's really funny. Yeah, that's good. I think it's really funny. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to think of like something you did <clears throat> earlier today that I was like, what the actual fuck is going on? Well, when we were in the car, maybe? I don't know. No, it wasn't it was here in the house when I saw you put something somewhere and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> why? <laughs> Actually, why? Like I just like I just yelled at him the other day because like sometimes I just don't understand like when you do when you cook something the dishwasher and the sink are this far apart from each other and so we'll put it in the sink I'm like at least put it in the left side of the sink so it doesn't go down the garbage disposal we've broken our garbage disposal like eight times no. You have broken the garbage. We collectively no. as a couple joint no. unit have broken Don't our, even our garbage, dare. our disposal. No. So I was like, Julian, why can't you just put like the things into the dishwasher? Like why you put that? You got so close. Why can't you just open the door and put them in there? Why do they have to go in the sink? And then I was like, don't put little stuff into the like spoons and forks, anything that can go down the garbage disposal on the right side because it can go down there. And you're like, yep, got it. No problem. That sink right now is full of forks. No, it's, it's, I did it. I fixed it. I fixed it. There's no forks. No, and then he'll go in there and he'll run the dishwasher and be like, oh, I, th uh, I think there's something in here. You mean the disposal? Yeah, you know, it's, sometimes you got to be, sometimes, here, my theory is you what attack theory? your kitchen. You don't let it attack you. You attack first. Oh my God. So it, it has the leg down. You are ahead of it. You're calling the shots. Okay, you're dominating your kitchen. You're making your food. You're not letting the kitchen dictate what's going to go in mm -mm. onto your plate that night. The okay? cleanest, most wonderful that kitchen has ever been was when Julian got his wisdom teeth out. And you cooked for like a week? Yeah, everything was clean. I'm down if you want to be. Nice. I'm, honestly, I'll take my Aries and get it out of the kitchen if you want to be like, if you want to cook. I don't, I'm fine with that. We've already talked about that, though. It's only lasted like maybe tops two days and then you're in there. That's true. I always find my way back to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I find my way You're right like, back. You're like, I'll there. do it. You can cook. You can clean. You do all you kitchen But it's just yourself. like I get bored. And then I'll go, okay, Julian. And then he does that. It's like, all right, two days later, yeah. it's like I, I got I, hungry. I like run in there and chug some orange juice out of the out of the jug and, <laughs> and then, then leave it on the counter. Leave the orange juice and the cap in different places in the room, yeah. and the refrigerator is open. Yeah, that's only if it's in the daytime. Because if it were nighttime, I would be chugging wine that we got from Wink. Okay, you know, Julian. Wink is a great service, guys. You know what they do? They select Black wines for you. That's too many segues for one podcast no, already. Why is it? I love you, but what, boy. Sorry, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm good. Guys, Wink gets it, okay? That's why they started their company, to give you access to fantastic wines from around the world so you can have more of those amazing moments <laughs> that you share wine with people and have great memories, okay? Wink <laughs> doesn't want you to have to go to the store to buy bottles just based on how they look, which is always the wrong way, but it's always how I used to do it. You just go online, take a quick palette profile quiz at trywink.com. That's wink with a C. And they'll recommend distinct, interesting wines that actually customize for you and ship them right to your door. There's no more time guessing if you're going to like a wine. You're just going to like it. That's how it works. It's science, guys. All right. We've had some amazing wines delivered by Wink. And you never have to even go to the store. How about that? We Everything we do now is on an app, okay? That's so true. Wink is no different. They're going to send it to you. All right? You go to trywink.com. That's T-R-Y-W-I-N-C.com slash Jenna Julian. You get 20 bucks off your first order. And they'll cover shipping, all right? And also, if it's a, a wine bottle you don't like, 100% satisfaction guarantee. So never pay a bottle. Never pay for a bottle that you don't enjoy. Thank you, Wink. Also, Hell tracker, guys, dude. if you're always losing your stuff, and, you know, you're sick of it, the wallets, the keys, the backpacks, 
Eight years ago, Tracker changed everything when they released their first tracking device. Now they've done it again with the new Tracker Pixel, the lightest Bluetooth device on the market. This is going to solve all of your lost item problems, okay? It's like unbelievably tiny. It's this little device, okay? Very great. You put it on your keys, on your phone, in your wallet, in your drone bag, on your, your favorite camera pen. bag, on your pet, all right? You put it on things that you lose or you don't want to lose, okay? I have mine on my drone bag. Everywhere I go, my drone case. I have mine on my backpack and my keys. And you don't, it's like peace of mind. You're traveling. Maybe you have to check a bag that has important things in it. You don't have to worry. You're going to always know where that bag is. It's tiny. All right. So when you lose an item that has a tracker pixel attached, use your smartphone and a 90 decibel alert will help you find it in seconds. Even has a powerful LED light to find it in the dark. Guys, Doesn't the battery lasts for like a year? It lasts for a long time. I, you know, I actually don't know the exact amount of time. A long time though. Yeah, you know, it's, it's a long time. Really long time. Uh, when you, so uh, and because tracker is part of the largest uh, crowd locate network in the world, you can find your item even if it's miles away. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry about losing your things again. Go to Tracker. Go to the Tracker. T H E T R A C K R dot com slash Jenna Julian. Get twenty percent off any order, or click the link in the description. Guys, try it out. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. Hell it's an incredible you. device. And Thank you, sponsors. Can you get your feet down now, maybe? No, it's really comfortable. This is where my feet belong. All right. So the next half of the podcast is going oh, to be baby, people baby, that we think are above together. the law. I think that, anyways, going back to the. Before we do that, like going back to our compatibility, I think that if I was a little more Virgo-y and you were a little more Aries-y, it would be really trouble. But like we're we're a little bit like our signs, but not completely. I think we're the chillest version of our signs. Yeah, probably. Because yeah. I'm I know I'm an Aries, but I'm also like I get it. Like I'm I'm not crazy. Yeah, you're not crazy. I'm not crazy. You're not crazy. So we compiled the list each of us. Of people who we think are above the law, girl, totally, totally above, above the, the law. law. I'm kidding. So, w how did this start? It was your vlog, right? We were, yeah, we were talking about Lauren Toyota and Hot yeah, for Food. Yeah, so Hot for Food, she made a, it's a nacho cheese sauce, but it's like a mac, mac skillet is what the recipe is. Dude. And I kept saying, like, it's so good, like, she should be above the law for making that. Yeah. So, people are like, you should make this a podcast, like... Who do you think should be above the law? So maybe some some of mine at least aren't like above the law, but there's they should have certain privileges. So I wrote down who I think should be above certain laws. Why don't you kick this off? Okay, BB. You have more than me, so you can read a couple if you want. Yeah, well, my first one is Lauren <clears throat> Toyota. What so, is, so tell, yeah. Lauren Toyota, that Mac skillet recipe with the nacho cheese is so fucking delicious. If you are a vegan and you have not tried it, you are doing yourself a disservice. It's so delicious. It's really good. I feel like since her last name is Toyota, she should be able to always drive in the carpool lane at all times, regardless of who is in her car. It's a funny lot of break. She's above the law. Like if someone's like, wee, -oo, wee, -oo, excuse me, ma'am, you can't drive in the car. She's like, like nope. Yes, I can. I am Lauren Toyota. Here's my nacho cheese, bitch. She just has a nacho cheese with her in the car, wherever yeah, she goes? Yeah, everywhere. Is that part of the law? Does yeah, she have no, to do that? Yeah, it's probably part of the law because she'll have to have her license registration in nacho and cheese. nacho cheese. She, pull, she reaches her full fist into the nacho cheese and pulls out her license ew, and registration ew, and says, ew. here you go, <laughs> dripping with nacho ew. cheese. She's like, thanks. Oh, well, it's good. You can it's go. It's you. It's you. It's Lauren. <laughs> it's you. I tested it. <laughs> you nasty. <clears throat> All right. Do you want me to read yeah, another, do another one? Yeah, another one too, yeah. Ray Drummond. Oh, my God. By the way, who just fucking noticed that I exist. I am dying on Twitter. Someone tweeted a picture of me in that hat, which someone sent to me, by the way. It says, I'm Ray Drummond. <laughs> someone sent that to the P.O. box a long time ago. And so I was wearing it. And someone took a screenshot of that video, tweeted it at Ray Drummond, like, do, would you want to wear this hat or do you, do you think you could pull this off she's yeah. like yeah i think i could pull it off you tweet back with the winky face emoji yeah so then i tweeted i was like oh my god mom's seen a picture of me i'm dying and then she liked the tweet and i was like i'm dead goodbye everybody i love Re drummond the pioneer woman for those of you that have no idea what that is what we're talking about it's a food show on food network she literally made her six-year-old son an ice cream trough for his birthday she's pretty legend yeah it's like okay she brings the world joy in sometimes unintentionally hilarious fashion. 
right? Yes. Ted Todd Teen Tater, they want a they want a six foot ice cream trough for their birthday. So that's why I'm gonna make this chocolate vanilla. Then we got syrup. Then we got caramel. This part's got strawberries it's on just, it. Who wants whipped cream? A, the whole show is a caricature of itself. Yeah, it's a lot. It's um, really funny. Redrumming, in my opinion, is above the law in that she should be able to punch one person a year without consequences. And it will likely always be her husband after he fails to tell her that he likes her. Oh, that episode is so weird. Yeah, she has like a couple <clears throat> glasses of wine and then she's sitting at the table with Probably her husband. Probably not from Wink. <clears throat> Boy, Sorry. that is too many segues. <laughs> she's sitting at the table with her husband and she's had a couple of glasses of wine. And she's like, it's cutting back and forth. They're talking about the food or like how they met. And she's like, do you like me? Just out of nowhere. She's like, do you <laughs> like, love me? Yeah. She's like, do like, you still think that I'm pretty? And you're like, oh, man, this is getting real. Yeah. And he's like, God, God damn it, Reed. We're on camera. Can we not <laughs> do like, this right now? She's like, yes. Like, yeah. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, you're pretty. Holy shut up. shit. Fuck. <laughs> Reed, yeah, you're pretty. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, dude, we have like five fucking kids together. Okay. I think you're pretty. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, men like mentally and emotionally breaks down on camera and they didn't cut any not of it Not really. Out. No, it's not that dramatic. It was really funny though. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> No, uh, yeah, she should be above the law mm -hmm. in that she can punch one person a year without consequence. I think that's fair. That's fair. I like that. Because you know she's not going to do it unless she, like, sh she's a lovely, quaint, adorable woman. If Reed Drummond's allowed to punch one person a year without consequences, they deserved it. Yeah. And she doesn't look like she could throw a very strong punch. No, she's either. got it'd pillow like, fists for like sure. Pillow fists. <laughs> you calling Reed Drummond pillow fists? Yeah, pillow fist Drummond. <laughs> I just love the idea that she, like, who clearly is just, like, trying her best at the internet, right? Like, she's got a Twitter account, yeah. you know, and she finds a, someone a tweeting her a picture of this chick on the internet wearing a hat that says, I'm redrumming. She says, like, I, think I, funny I, I think I can pull it off. No other questions on her part. Yeah. Like, why does that person have... Why does that have person a... have that hat? And a grown woman have that hat with my name if on it. If I saw that, that picture she her. of someone that said, I hate wearing a hat that says, I'm Jenna Mori, I'd be like, bitch, what... Is she that? just like answers the question. Like, yeah, I can yeah, pull I can it pull off. That yeah. off. Is she a robot, you think? I don't know. Maybe she has like one of those PR companies running her Twitter account. Ooh. No, no, no. Because they, she one time tweeted, when you're all out of stuff to watch on Netflix, that's worse than Fresh Hell or something. Remember when Sounds she's Fresh weird. Hell? And I was like, amen, hey, sister. <laughs> Fresh Hell. Fresh Hell. God. Fresh Hell. Oh. Okay. Right. You're While talking. we're in the culinary world. I think Gordon Ramsay should be Ooh, above the law. that's a good one. What? What is he above? He is above and why? this law, okay? It's just a very situational law. Okay. Very specific incident. What is it? If out at any restaurant, that's... Sorry. If out at a restaurant, his or anyone else in his party's meal is not up to his standard, the Ramsay standard, he not only has the entire meal comped automatically, but he also gets to go into, into the kitchen right then and there and berate and possibly fire the cooks and the chefs <laughs> he fired someone else's who chef. made that food, causing a very inconvenient and weird scene at the moment, but also bettering the restaurant That's for, pretty for, sick. The better, for the greater good of, of the That's establishment. That's pretty sick. Yeah. I had one he that... also is allowed to charge whatever he wants for anything in the restaurants that he sells. <laughs> Literally, like, what, however much he wants to charge. I had one similar to, <clears throat> to that. It was Dolly Parton. Should eat and drink for free anytime, anyplace. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good. Dolly Parton, isn't it true that her organization buys more children's book than in, books than any other organization in the world? Um, I don't know. Let me... Let me look it up. It's something, like, she's wonderful. Dollywood's wonderful. She's just a fucking, she's a legend. Thousand dollars a month. Um, I mean, I guess I could go to her website and see what's up. Yeah, it's something like that. But she, her organization buys a lot of children's books and gives them to kids. Yeah, I mean, they're not going to like brag about being the best on their website, but I'm sure like what it, yeah. I just confirmed that it's like that's a thing. I just don't know that level, yeah. but it's impressive. Anyways, my turn. She should be able. She doesn't look like she eats and drinks a ton. I feel like she should be able to eat and drink when she does, whenever she wants. That's fair. She's like a teeny tiny little petite lady. Yeah. She's like, hi, I'm Dolly Parton. I like a sandwich. I'm like, fucking hell yeah. Yeah. Let me feed you. Yeah. What do you want to drink? What else can I get you? Because it's free for you. You Dolly Parton. Am I scaring you? <laughs> oh, she'll have a diet Dr. Parton. 
<laughs> um, all right. Um, my next one. Are you done? Yeah, go ahead. Hugh Jackman. Mm, I don't know about all of this. Hugh Jackman. I don't know about all of this. Is allowed to work. Oh, you, if you don't, if you don't know about that one, you're definitely not going to know about the next one. <sighs> definitely. This not. is questionable. I might argue with you on this. Hugh Jackman is allowed to work out at any gym anywhere forever for free. Okay. In fact, the gym will shut its doors to anyone while mm-hmm. he gets the train. Mm-hmm. iPhones currently correct Julian. his last name to Hackman. Okay. He deserves to own every single gym if he wants. No. Also, no. because the iPhone corrects Jackman to Hackman, he deserves a Jackman emoji that will be released with iOS 11. No. No. Hugh is also allowed no. to deadlift anything he sees out in the world. That's fine. If your grandma's walking down the street, he might deadlift her. That's fine. If anyone ever addresses him as Wolverine or Logan in public, he has the right to deadlift that person That's... for however many reps he wants. That's okay. He can also see any X-Men movie in theaters for free forever with a one plus one ticket, not plus two. That's fine. All right. I just, he's not allowed to shut down all gyms. Where, yeah, he is. No, he is. Yeah, he is. No, he is. Yeah, he is. No, he yeah, can he work out at any gym for free and he can deadlift whoever he wants, but he's not allowed to shut down gyms. Yeah, he is. If, if my gym was closed because Hugh Jackman was in there, I'd go, get the fuck out. No. Nope. Get out. He would deadlift you if you said that. I don't care. I'm deadlifting bad. I need to get in some deadlifts. He can deadlift everyone and no one can deadlift him. That's, that doesn't seem right at all. What did he, what did, what gives him the right? He, he was is, Wolverine. He is Hugh Jackman. No, I don't care. He hasn't done enough for me to be like, you're above the law. He has done enough. No, he has I done disagree. Enough. He has I disagree. Enough. You can't disagree. <laughs> okay, I guess you can. Um, and he gets the emote with the emoji with the iOS 11. It's going to be a Hugh Jackman emoji. I'm well, looking what, forward to what it. What does it look like? Looks like him. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Cool. Sick. All good. Tight. Good. All right. I mean, you can have it. <clears throat> you, can, you can have whatever you want. Thanks. Um, Tim Gunn was my next Yes, one. my uh, dad. That's yeah. a good one. I should pick that one. Uh, shouldn't have to go through TSA at all. He's immune. <laughs> God. He just walks through the Air Force. Yeah. Tim Gunn, for those of you that don't know, is on a, a show called Project Runway. I don't know if you're part of it. It's very fucking sick. It's a good show. Uh, he's, he's the students or the competitors' mentor, so he never even judges them. He's literally just there to help them and, like, build up their confidence and self-esteem and Give them constructive criticism. He's fucking wonderful. He's so wonderful. He's a magical person. He's my dad. I feel like he should never have to ever take his shoes off if he doesn't want to, because they're probably really expensive and wonderful. So good for him. He's immune from the TSA. He's the best. Like if Tim Gunn's walking up to the airport, we're all like, "Yo, he's good. Let him on the plane." That's Tim Gunn. Mm-hmm. All right. Sorry. Justin Thoreau. Oh, God. He, this, this is just your man crush list. Okay, so maybe it is. Maybe it is. Why is What is Justin Thoreau above the law for and why? And what is what does he get to do? What are his privileges? Justin Thoreau by Julian Salamita. <laughs> Justin Thoreau is above the law because he's fantastic. Okay. He's an incredible actor. Okay. Singer. Okay. And dog lover. Okay. He's allowed to pet your Wait, dog if you want. He's a dog, dog lover. lover. Okay. Yeah, he does a lot of work. How do you know that? Dogs. I follow him on Instagram. Oh. What? <laughs> Nothing. He, Nothing. If he wants to pet your dog, he is allowed, no okay. matter if you give him permission or not. If he comes up to you and you are feeling unsafe and he says, I want to pet your dog, you are not allowed to say no. He Ooh. will pet your dog. Uh, you're taking away people's consent? No, just to pet dogs. Okay. Calm down. What about the dog's consent? The dog will like it. <laughs> <laughs> He's allowed to stand on any table at any restaurant and sing Homeward Bound, oh. and everyone has to tip him, no matter where he is <laughs> you or have what to? time it is. Yes. He's also allowed to change any business elevator music of any bi- business park or I building. I have that too. What, really? Yeah, I have Bruno Mars should be allowed to curate all elevator music in the entire That's world. so funny. Yeah, Justin Thoreau is allowed to change any business's elevator music to the score of Leftovers without the building owner's permission. <laughs> I don't know. It's okay, I do. He's an actor. Well, he's also a guy and a person and yeah. a fantastic. But I mean, it's not like guy. you were like Justin Thoreau's allowed to pet anyone's dog at any time. Like he's above a lot of laws. He's allowed to just stand and sing openly at restaurants on tables and yeah, everyone you'd be has to lucky tip if him. you got to Yeah. That's a lot. Oof, it's worth it. Trust me. Have you ever seen Justin Thoreau live on the table? It's a good show. <laughs> All right. I feel like the dog is okay. The dog thing, petting all dogs. And the elevator music. And elevator music is okay. I mean, that score. Leftovers I feel like soundtrack. I mean, come on. He should. He can, be, he can be allowed to sing and stand on all tables, but we shouldn't have to tip him. How about this? What? You can, Tips are 
welcome, okay, but not necessary. Go. Okay, fair enough. All right. He also can stream on anyone's Twitch channel if he wants. <laughs> okay, that's <laughs> sick. I would love Justin Thoreau to take over our Twitch channel. Oh, yeah. Can you tell them why you love him so much? He just, the character he plays in, in The Leftovers is is the best. It Julie loves that show. After he's saying in that scene, the Homeward Bound scene, he's just Julie, like he's, fell in love with him. I fell in love with him. Fucking, oh, God damn it, man. I wish that show wasn't over. <laughs> yeah, he sings Homeward Bound. That, that episode for me was a powerful episode, though. Yeah. It was the the purgatory uh, where he's like the secret agent. No spoilers. Whatever. It's not a spoiler. It's kind of an isolated episode at this point. But uh, it was a powerful episode for me, just the, the way they did it. And I really loved it. And it really the cool. way it ended was just, I mean, it almost brought me to tears. Mm-hmm. not going to lie. Okay. Next one. Mine? Yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. Joe Rogan. Knew that was going to be He's on there. Everything that I aspire to be in life, I love him. He does everything that he wants to. Fucking, he's the man. Uh, I think he should be allowed to swear on air doing a UFC fight like three times a year and have no one get fined for it in any context. That's he's, that's so appropriate. That's he's allowed more, to that's... say it like at least three times, whether it's like HBO or like not HBO, like no, pay per view or Fox, or, Fox yeah. or anything. He's allowed to swear three times in any context and say any bad word that he wants. Without anyone getting in trouble. You know what I like about that rule? What? Is because you're limiting him to those three square words, you know they're going to be really, really well-timed. Yeah, he's going to save like them. creative. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's a really good law for him to be above. So, like, for any time, like, and we all have to just be like, oh, damn, that was one. Like, no one's allowed to get mad at him. No one, no one is allowed to, like, say anything. Like, if somebody's pissing him off, he's like, what the fuck was that? Like, yeah. he's allowed to just say that. We have to be like, damn, that's Joe's one. Yeah. That's one. That's one. That's two. That's damn. That's I it. like that. He used his I third like one. Damn. I, I like that. that. Okay, cool. I think that's fair. <clears throat> it is fair. Right? Right, do, yeah, do one more. Wouldn't you love for him to just fucking? Are you kidding me? And people would, people would love it too. The UFC would be smart to allow that. Okay. Seth MacFarlane. Oh God, I knew it. <laughs> He's like an actual idol. Uh, I love him. He's my celebrity crush of all celebrity crushes. Uh, he should be above the DMV. He never has to go. That's really fair. Literally never has to go. That's fair. Yeah, That's he, like really nice of you to say. Yeah, he just doesn't have to go. So he does. how does he get his license? They just mail it to him. But how does he update his picture? They just take one off Google that he likes. How does he update his signature? He doesn't. He just he doesn't have to. Yeah, it doesn't matter. How does he refresh his driver course? He doesn't have to? No. Oh, okay. Cool. That's fair. I don't argue with he that. He probably well. doesn't even drive himself that much. No. Other people drive him. Mm-hmm. 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 Cool. Yeah. My next one, Ryan Higa. I have Ryan Higa too. Well, I did it first, so no! I, I care about him more. <gasps> no, that's not fair. Ryan Higa is allowed to post on a video on anyone's channel on YouTube. No questions <laughs> asked. <laughs> okay, that is amazing. <laughs> that's that's not lot. what I had. What's but your Ryan Higa one? My Ryan Higa one was should be allowed to win all rec league basketball games. <laughs> Everyone should have to lose to him on purpose because he's wonderful and deserves it. Oh, I want to watch him play again. That was right? fun. Dude, he was fucking, he was really good. Yeah. I mean, it inspired me for my basketball game tomorrow, but you know. You got to help him. He might ha- have to help you practice for your basketball game tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be really great. That's the collab that everyone's have- been waiting for. <laughs> him helping you with your basketball game tomorrow. Could be epic. <laughs> but, I, but I have to lose to him because... That's he's above the law. You never know if you train hard enough, you could win any basketball game tomorrow. <laughs> All right, what All else right. you got? Um, no, you go now. Okay, I have a uh, Giorgio Sukulos oh, of Ancient Alien. Julie. Christ. <laughs> okay, it's not it's not unreasonable. Okay. Yeah, no, it's definitely not unreasonable. Um, he's no, I'm, I'm saying li- I'm listening. I'm listening. His privileges oh, okay. aren't unreasonable. Okay. Uh, he's made my life fantastic. So uh, he sh- <laughs> he has he's made my life so great. Such a sweeping statement. I love him. Um, he should be granted access to all the exclusive like ruins and sites that they don't allow people That's... to. So he can stand around and say, "Huh, aliens." For his show, as much as he wants. That, see that uh, that benefits other people. Like so he's not, dope. yeah, he's not allowed to like excavate <clears throat> stuff or like you know, yeah. Uh, I don't know what's the word that I'm looking for. Like, you can't do archaeology shit. <laughs> like, he can't, like, dig shit up. But he's allowed to go in places that other people aren't. So he can stand around. So he has like, access to special, huh? like, like Area Areas. 51, he could go. Right? Yeah, he can go and just yeah. be like, huh. That's pretty dope. Because you know what he's going to do there? It's going to, like, gather knowledge for the rest of the world to know. 
Knowledge. Knowledge. My turn? Yeah, go ahead. All right, Chris Maloney. Oh my God, how did I not think AKA of him? AKA Detective Stabler. Dun, 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 dun. He can do splits. Dun, 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 dun. All right. The law, the law that he is above is that at any time in his entire life, he's allowed to just be a regular real life detective and no one has to ask <laughs> any questions. If he wants to. Yeah. And then when he's done. Yeah. Even like for like an hour. Yeah. You might be done. Yeah. Okay. That's incredible. Okay. Amazing. Good. I think all of our Christopher Maloney fans out there will genuinely appreciate that. Yeah. Like, That's he's allowed not. to show up at any crime scene, flash a fake badge, and just look around. <laughs> no, he literally just goes leave. like this with nothing in his hand, and they have to respect it. <laughs> and he can just walk around and do whatever he wants. Yeah. Like, drunk if he wants to. Like yeah. Just, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. That's really good. Um, okay. I have a share. I feel like whenever she tweets, it should automatically go into Twitter moments immediately so we all see it. <laughs> Every tweet of hers immediately in Twitter moments. So we all see That's it. That's funny. That's yeah. really... She's been fucking wiling on Twitter. Yeah. She's always been wiling no on fucks. Twitter. No fucks. Yeah, none. That's funny. All right. Who else you got? Jeff Probst. Oh, why didn't I think of him either? Oh, I'm killing myself right now. Uh, the law that he is above, that if there is ever a collared blue shirt anywhere in the world, Jeff can have it for free because it 100% <laughs> looks better on him than the person <laughs> it was previously on. Oh, uh, it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, he should carry around like disposable tank tops with him or something to give people like, hey, man, give me that fucking shirt. No, and then it, he can also go anywhere and say, drop your buffs and you have to drop whatever's in your hand. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. All right, done. Imagine like he just walks into like a Panera, drop your buffs, and everyone's like, oh, shit. <laughs> they just throw their fucking soup everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep everywhere. Drop God your, damn it, Jeff. Drop your buffs. No, you also have to hit the floor, too. Like, you have to lay down and assume the position until he gives you a new team. Oh, my God. Then he goes, he walks through the Panera and makes everybody sit with a new person and make friends. God, I'm, I can't wait till Survivor starts. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. What's your next one? I only have four more. Okay. Three, four. I have, uh, I have Rihanna. All right. Obviously. She is uh, my other idol. Uh, she's above walking with her own legs. Uh, she shouldn't have to walk for anything other than pure joy. <laughs> so she, someone else walks for her? No, she should be carried everywhere on a literal throne. <laughs> if Rihanna doesn't want to walk, she shouldn't have to. Rihanna okay. seems like the kind of girl that just wants to get carried everywhere. So Honestly, I feel like... I think that's fair. I think that's warranted. She's above She's above walking uh, out of anything other than happiness. Yeah. Like she shouldn't have to walk to anywhere ever. Yeah. That's fair. She should that's be carried. It's Rihanna. She, doesn't, she, she shouldn't should have to walk. Next one. She should be carried. Okay. Fair. I will carry her. Rihanna, Wait, I will so carry hold on. Are you volunteering you. to be her, her carer? Yeah, I will carry you. I will carry you all the time. I can deadlift. I'm good. Uh, Not as much as Hugh Jackman. <laughs> you had, uh, you, someone was, oh, Hugh Jackman was allowed to see movies. I had RuPaul should be allowed to use all copyrighted music for free in his shows mm -hmm. and go to concerts for free and see music, movies for free because RuPaul. That's fair. For research. That's fair. Right? Yeah. The copyrighted one is nice. I like that. Well, like, even for RuPaul's Drag Race, like, he must run into copyright problems at some point on that show. Yeah. Like, you can't use that song. You have to use this one. Like, no. They he, should be he, able to use all copyrighted he, music on RuPaul's Drag Race. Just making okay? his life a little bit easier. That's yes. All you're doing. Yeah. Yes. Fair enough. I think that's a good rule. Yeah, it is. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Serena Williams can do whatever <gasps> she wants. Um, she won the Australian Open while pregnant. She can literally do whatever she wants. There's no law <laughs> like that what? applies to There's her. no limit to no. that? Yeah, she can do whatever she wants. She can get away with murder? She can murder everyone. And That's it's okay. fucked. It's, honestly, it's, it's welcomed. What? Oh my God, murder me. 2017 <laughs> murder me. comments. Re so you're saying that Serena Williams- Win Will the Australian Open while pregnant, then murder me. Serena Williams is allowed to take 2017 comments literally? Yeah, Serena Williams can do and will do whatever she wants forever. No, what if you changed it to if you if you write Serena Williams a 2017 comment, she's allowed to literally carry it, it out and have no consequences. That's actually nice. That's nice. Like run me over with your motorcycle and rewind my pussy like a VHS oh tape my... manually with your finger. Dude, some like, of those... She's allowed to do that if you tweeted at some her of those, literally without any consequences. I see some of those on the Twitch stream and they like literally make me shudder. Yeah, like, they're I gross. They're, they're awful. So gnarly. <laughs> oh what God. a weird trend. All right, yeah. here you go. Uh, I had Tay Diggs because he's from Rochester and he's like the coolest thing we got ever from there. <laughs> cool. So I think he should be the honorary mayor of Rochester forever. Even after he's dead, he's still the mayor? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's cool. our guy. All right. He's like our figurehead. He's like our, our king. 
The King of Rochester. King Diggs. <laughs> King Diggs. <laughs> you shall be referred to as King Diggs. King Diggs is the King of Rochester. Fair enough. Um, how many more do you have? Just one. Oh, you have one more? Okay, I'll go now. Yeah, because we had like some double stuff yeah, somehow. We did. Um, binging with Babish Ooh, you is love above him. the law. Babish is above the law. He, if you don't know what his channel is, he recreates movie and TV food to like such a perfect degree. Julie loves him. And the amount of effort and detail that goes into each episode mm -hmm. is like, it's unheard of on YouTube. Uh, in addition to that, he has a great eye for cinematography. So because of those things, he doesn't ever have to pay taxes on food he buys. Oh, that's a dope one. It's yeah. Dope, right? No, I think that's fair. I mean, because it's contributing to the content. Right? No, he, he should get to... all of that food for free and not pay taxes. So he just goes to the grocery store and he just takes whatever he needs. Yeah, and then walks out. I like that, actually. Yeah. That's, that's like less he's not, complicated. Because he's not taking like an obscene amount of food. He's like, I'm going to make a video today. And he's allowed to just take what he needs. Yeah. He's not allowed to like eat everything for free out of the grocery store. He's, he's, allowed he's to putting use... it to good use. He's, he's yeah. like taking these very obscure ingredients and making magic. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, Dimitri Martin is another one of mine. What? Hell yeah. Um, He's uh, allowed to tell stand-up comedy wherever he is and immediately gets paid for it no matter what. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. Okay. I would throw money at him. I would too. If I, have I ever before. saw him in person, I'd go, yo, Dimitri! And I'm, I'd find whatever cash I could find and just hurl it at I've him. I've thrown my money at him before. Really? Yeah, I went to watch him live one time. Yeah, but you didn't throw any no, money I, on stage. I, it was figurative money, okay? Man, and I would was, love to do that. It was my figurative... You, just, you know that whole, uh, like, take my money and throw my money at you or whatever? You go to a comedy show and you just start fucking hucking chunks of bills up there. You're just hucking nickels. Like, I fucking quarters. love you! You're just pelting them in the eye. It's like what you do with a stripper, but like it's just someone else that you like. Imagine <laughs> if someone just like threw dimes and nickels at a stripper. No. That would hurt. Yeah, of course it would hurt. No, I'm talking about like taking Sorry. stripper no. culture and just applying it to anyone on a stage that you like. But it has to be more than ones though. Yeah, you can throw like a full stack of money up there if you want. Just throw a briefcase like, of I cash. love you. Yeah, like. No, no, no. Just write your bank info down on a piece of paper and just. <laughs> Throw it up at them. Here's my PayPal password. Oh my God. What's your Venmo? I'll Venmo yeah. you. <laughs> Here's my Netflix login. <laughs> oh my God, Julian. All right. My last one is uh, Sam Smith should be able to cry in public as loudly as he want, uh, wants and we will hug and applaud him for it. That's good. Yeah. I would just cry with him. Hell yeah. I would cry too. I think your list was good. Yeah, I liked your yeah, list too. Fair enough. You had people on there that I totally like. Chris Maloney. I'm like kicking myself. Yeah, when you said that. I, I was know. like, and Jeff Probst. I feel Dan. Like. Yeah. He is above the law. Well, if you guys think there are other people above the law that we missed, which I know there are, because we missed a lot of people, I'm sure. Let, leave them in the comments below. Yeah, and what what you think their privileges should be? Yeah. Yes. Play the game with us. We want to hear because you guys always make us laugh. So make us laugh some more now. Ready? Go and be funny. Um, thank you guys for hanging out. We'll see you guys for another episode next week. Goodbye. Dink it up until then, baby. Dink it up until then, baby. Bye. Bye.